Good morning, crafty friends. It's Rena, and I have a DT project today for you from Angelica's Little Scrap Shop. And Angelica has um, some beautiful butterflies and amazing, amazing stick pins. Um, she also has, um, oh, what do you call them? Those um, flower. She has flowers. <laughs> she has flower. Um, oh, they're on stems. I don't know why I can't think of the name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so I have actually two projects to share with you today from um, Angelica's goodies that she sent me in the DT package. And I'm going to start with the card. And the funny thing is, guys, I used the same Magnolia image on both my projects. So... I know you're not used to me doing that, but here is the first project. And this is a card. Actually, let me do it like this. And um, I'm going to show you very first of all, this is the beautiful stick pin that was sent to me in my DT package. I absolutely adore it. Um... Yeah, it's got this little, this little bead cap at the top, which looks like the top of the teapot where you'd pull the thing. Oh, it's so cute. This beautiful um, bead inside the teapot. I mean, whoever came up with this teapot thing was, oh my gosh, ingenious. And then a beautiful bead here and another little cap at the bottom. So, so pretty. So, let me talk to you about the rest of the project. Um, I did a square card. I made it into a shaped card by adding my um, uh, my cupcake wrapper in the back. And then I added a doily here. And I layered it um, so that my card stock covers the doily. Because the doily is not firm. Um, I had this teapot, chipboard teapot, in my stash, so I covered it with paper. Um, this is a new sentiment I just got from Paper Tray Ink in a collection. Um, my little Tilda drinking her little cup of tea. Isn't she adorable? Um, I added this rosette from Suha Fuha. I layered um, a little flower... Um, applique and then my flower on top this is some bead trim I got from Christina thank you Christina um, this flat back is from Suha Fuha store I can't remember where I got this and this is another one of Suha Fuha's rosettes um, I added a couple of little wild orchid craft flowers from Archana's uh, this is actually a prima but the others are wild orchid craft from Archana's uh, Facebook group the secret garden um, I added a little bit of doily on each side, and then um, I added the I layered two feathers, a pink feather and a and a white feather, and then I added these bead sprays. So I, I wanted it to kinda in a way mimic like the feathers were coming out of her hat, even though the feathers are way bigger than her hat. But that was my idea. And then when you pop it up. I have this trim, which is also from Suha Fuha store, and this pretty um, embroidered lace, which I don't know where I got it. And then on the sentiment area, it says, Seat, steep, stir, and enjoy. And then down at the bottom, it says, sip and relax. So, I just love it. I just love it. So, there it is. Let me know what you guys think think. All right, let me move on to project number two. And I'm going to have to kind of spread this one out and get it kind of set up before I can show you guys. And I'm really excited about this one too. Like I said, I used the same tilde. All right. This is a banner, and 
I got this chipboard piece from Saw Crafters, and basically what this is is a mini album, um, this chipboard piece. And so I have a whole bunch more, uh, but I wanted to make a tea-themed banner, and I used one of my new stamps from Paper Tray Ink and a sentiment that says a warm cup of tea can diminish all the troubles that may be. So, and then my cute little tilde. This paper is from a DCWV, I think it's called Pretty Princess Stack. And it has teacups and it says tea party. It's got a little teapot back there. So really pretty cream and pink. Um, I used this beautiful uh, ribbon from the Ribbon Girl and a beautiful uh, piece from the DIY Boutique Supply. Um, this shabby trim I get at Hobby Lobby. And then over here, I used my brand new Sizzix butterfly die inspired by um, Laura, uh, the Robin Laura. She had shown what she did with hers, and I loved it. And then I have a new um, EK Success Punch, so I made a flower, and I used a lot of um, eyelash trim in it to give it that shabby look. And then those are one of uh, the flowers from Archana, Archana's Wild Orchid Craft Facebook. And then back here, I have another pretty, pretty little um, teapot stick pin from um, Angelica's Little Scrap Shop. And I believe these come in a collection of like five that have different colors. So definitely check out her store for those beautiful stick pins. Um, I will link her, um, her, her Facebook group, her private blog, everything in the description box down below. Um, this other side is exactly the same butterfly, flower, um, but I used a white um, teapot stick pin. The other one was pink. And then I used this beautiful, beautiful trim from the DIY Boutique Supply. I just love this stuff. And then up at the top, I used this trim underneath here is from Hobby Lobby. And then this is Suha Fuha Rosette trim and then this um, back here is from Hobby Lobby. Oh and I forgot to mention I have another um, one of those flowers up here at the top of the teapot. So there we go. Let me get the card out and so you can see both projects. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching and have a happy scrappy day. Check out Angelica's store. She's got gorgeous butterflies too in addition to these amazing stick pens. Thanks so much for watching.